Hello everyone and welcome to Wow Welcome to Minecraft as we take on a another adventure map. This time it um what happened there? This time it will be the uh, Forbidden King. And we have this golden sword. So let's see. How many forums, how many slime balls, now post on forums, how many slime balls you find. 81. All notes and diaries written are posted in the forum. Read note 1. Read the prophecies diary, page 1. I'll just take this real first. I'll just take this first. There we go. Two swords for some reason. There we go. And I'll just read note one and the prophecy's diary. Note one. In the year 2002, a boy, dark hair, 17 years of age, was running through the streets of Boston. He was being chased by a gang of seven, the leader possessing a handgun. The boy has an anxious golden sword in his hand, from which he had picked up from the man of whom the gang leader had just shot. The gang leader did not want any eyewitnesses to the shot. Anyway, this golden sword the boy carrying was said to be returned to a monkey king, according to the dying man. last words. And the prophecies holder's diary, page 1. Day 1, 2002. The last thing I remember was, was falling, falling off a roof that I had climbed up to escape the gang, but they had trapped me at the top. And so, there I was, golden sword in hand on the roof of a building in Boston with a gun aimed at my head. But then, suddenly, the sword in my hand started pushing my body closer and closer to the edge. Then, I was falling. Day 2, 1651, that's weird. Hmm. As soon as I hit the ground, I woke up there, here, this Japanese looking place with the sword in my hand. This does not look like Boston at all. I'm going to explore. And that we will do. We have picked up, I don't know if I'm supposed to get the, um, the bed with me. Hmm. I don't know. Let's go. What's down here? Let's see. More pork chop, slime ball, and a roast for some reason. That was it. Mm, yep. Let's see. Over here. Read page 2 of the Prophecy's Diary and read note 2. Let's do that. Note 2. It was when the boy was exploring that he heard the sound of thudding. Thudding? I don't know that word. It was coming from the path up the mountain. And so, the boy looked through the balcony, the thudding sound was getting louder and louder. And then, they were there. Black horses, golden armor, big swords against old farmers. They were the jade warriors, and there was a whole army of them. And they showed no mercy towards the village people, ca caging them up or stabbing them with their swords. The boy was in danger. Prophes prophes prophecy Holder's Diary, page 2. What is this place? Could this be the place in which I return with the sword? In the distance I see a metal horse, nay, metal on horses, coming in this direction. I must escape. I do not want to feel the pain of one of those big swords put into my back. Maybe I should make some leather armor before I leave the path behind the house I slept in. Oh, look at that. He wants us to make some leather armor. Probably make it of uh, make a chest plate. Leather tonic. I just call it chest plate. Nice. Nothing down here. Nope. Let's go. I wasn't actually in the chest. Oh, there was a ton of shit. I thought I looked in it already. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Let's see. There we go. Let's go. Read no three. Wow, there's a lot of reading in this one. I feel like I'm gonna do this this, this time. Note three. In the time of the village massacre, a long warrior saw no a lone warrior. A long warrior. That wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> 
A lone warrior saw the boy hiding behind a sugar cane and ordered three warriors to chase him down on horses and kill him. Page 3. This is a long one. As soon as the man in, the, in gold saw me, I knew I was doomed, but I ran away, up the path, past the waterfall, until their horses caught up with me. They circled and circled and circled me, until I was dizzy. Just when I thought I would be going to kill me, a drunk was coming up the other way on a donkey. He fell off the donkey a few meters away from the nearest black horse, and surprisingly the drunk offered a hand as if to shake it with the jade warrior. But as soon as the two made contact, the unbelievable thing happened. The drunk pulled the first warrior off his horse, bringing his other elbow onto the warrior's head, knocking him out. The second warrior swung the sword against him, sword against him to which the drunk ducked, and then used the first warrior's sword, uh, which was on the ground, and threw it straight through the second jade warrior. The third warrior then got off his horse, followed by two more warriors. The drunk very quickly broke the third warrior's arm, followed by a blow to the neck to the head with his bottle, almost empty of wine, and then kicked the fourth warrior onto the third warrior's sword, killing him. The fifth warrior turned and ran back to the village. I was amazed, just stood there, astonishment. The drunk picked me up and put me on of one of the horses, then got on the horse himself and rode onto into the mountains along the path. That was the last thing I remember. Pretty cool. I don't think this drunk is a regular drunk. But we'll see. Is it? I don't think he is a regular drunk. Hey, there's a spawn up here. I don't know if I'm supposed to destroy this. I don't I don't really remember the rules. Eh, might as well leave it there. More entertaining, I guess. More entertaining. I guess. So let's see where this um, great path is going to take us. Hopefully there won't be any of those those uh, warriors there. The, I don't even remember their name. G Jude. I don't remember. <laughs> I just read it, but I don't remember. Anyway, so hopefully none of those are going to attack me. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So far, the history sounds pretty good. Uh, it's a bit of my, quite a lot of reading, but yeah, hopefully not too much. Hopefully not too much. Let's see. Come here. Wow, this is a <laughs> very long path. There's a stupid sheep here. Oh, you sheep! Bitch. Screw you and me. Oh my god, how long am I going to be walking? Aw, oh, come on. I don't want to do all this jumping. I'll probably just fail. I'll probably just fail. Hopefully not. There you go. And I'm impatient, so I'm just gonna walk straight into it without even giving it any thought. So. <laughs> oh, there's a chest down there. I saw you. slime balls. I ain't risking taking the others this time. I ain't taking the risk. I'm just gonna do this stupid jumping. Anyways, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll be back in a little bit.